Welcome in to Kramer Gibson Epiphone. It's NAM 2020. We're backstage. I'm Al John, the product manager for Kramer and Epiphone, and we happen to have here on display some one-off concept guitars that are part of our graphics art guitar collection. Dealers have been able to come in and purchase these one-off guitars that we will only make one of, which is painted by hand and assembled in the United States. These concept guitars will be translated into guitars possibly down the road in a more affordable form factor. So here we are. We have artist Chris Stemmer from Nashville. He is an amazing artist, works great with paint. We came up with a concept, or I came up with a concept of doing a lowrider theme, um, especially with all the pinstripings that you're going to find here. All the great detail in terms of the pinstriping and the glitter, which is great. Black hardware. Also, Chris Stemmer did this, what we like to call a silver sparkle flame. I'm a big fan of toys and retro toys, and I think a lot of you know that I'm also a big car fan, so you tell me where this inspiration came from. All right. Next, Bo Pittman. We've been working with Bo since the Music Yo days, and Bo has been doing guitar art for us yeah, for a long time. And we wanted to come up with something that harkens to Kramer's past, but also something that had this really great kind of Dungeons, Dragons, Game of Thrones vibe with this dragon warrior. So Bo was able to come up and basically bring our concept to life. Really great. You gotta love the 84. Another 84, Tom Morgan from Gibson USA. He ran a place called Area 51. That's where all the custom paint and things were done. Maybe you're familiar with the Flood, Les Paul, that came out a few years ago. So we took his talent and lent it to something I named the Blue Nebula. So this is all done with Gibson lacquers. Nice sparkle, very subtle. It almost looks like a star field. And you see it translates all the way to the back. A lot of these guitars have these really cool backs that you can see. Also has a matching headstock as well. Kramer's very subtle. But that's what it is, the Blue Nebula. Tom Morgan also from Area 51 developed this. I call it the Red Nebula. And it looks like, you know, you're going into the Wrath of Khan. You're hiding out, waiting for the Enterprise, ready to snipe it out of the sky. But of course, you know how that ended in the Wrath of Khan. Pardon the Star Trek humor, but there you have it. The Red Nebula. All done by hand. And that is actually lacquer finish. So this will age and this will check just like a Gibson over time and sweeten the tone of the guitar. Um, just another look at Chris Stemmer's, uh, I wanted to let you see that some of the, the glitter in the back and how that sparkles in the light. This is not the best lighting because we're in the business area, but like I said, a lot of these guitars sold to, um, sorry, <laughs> you want to take a look at that? A lot of these guitars ended up selling to dealers, so we wanted to take them out. But. Uh, Chris Stemmer also did this Rainbow Leopard, which is just the front, on a Beretta. Bo Pittman also did this 84, we call it the black and white 3D spiral. He's really, really known for that when he's doing custom motorcycles and cars, which he does for his uh, main job. And Bo is so talented. He said, well, what if we do something like this, a little psychedelic action? So uh, I think you can tell this is uh, really making waves. People love that 3D art. Chris Stemmer, once again, we wanted to do something different. And instead of a Floyd Rose, we have a Babbitt's Full Contact Bridge. A little bit more strati, a Fishman Fluence pickup, which is also unique with a single coil, so you're able to tap that. Just a regular Beretta. A little, what we call the purple gold green crackle. Now I know that you're a big fan of crackle guitars, and uh, <laughs> I told you we'd be doing some cool things, and you can see how this really is a flip-flop when you look at it, almost like a guitar made famous by Red Beach. So that's the kind of effect I wanted to get on that particular guitar. 
So, Chris Zimmer, you're the man. One more. What's a Kramer without doing a snake skin? And so we have a rain. Um, oh, <laughs> it says Rainbow Leopard. I guess they got that mixed up in the uh, in the switching back and forth. We actually had uh, a couple artists come back here and play name that tune. Um, a couple artists, you might be checking my Instagram out and, and knowing who those are, but they were like playing Kramers all night. So um, this one is, uh, I believe, done by Chris Spimmer as well. And it's just the front. It's a, I don't know, basically a rainbow, black and black and I'm sorry, a green and blue snake skin. It's been a long week. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for coming backstage and taking a look backstage at these really cool concept guitars for Kramer. We have three new artist models. You probably went and saw them. We've got Charlie Parra's new Vanguard. We're bringing that back. Tracy Guns and his new Gunstar Voyager. And also Snake Sabo and his brand new Snake Beretta with Dennis Klein's art that's on it as well. So hope you get to take a look at those. It's going to be a great year for Kramer. The new website is up. Guitars are shipping. Have your dealer purchase them. If you don't have a Kramer in your Gibson authorized or Epiphone authorized location near you, demand it. Have them carry Kramer so you can take home a guitar that is made to rock hard. See ya.